Hello Cobras and welcome back to Sonic Unleashed, I'm Tracklight -like Tamer. And add a bat once again, a different look to this place as well for this yeah. next time attack mission. Alright, so the main thing here is falling heads, I got my item listed as in the part with the falling heads, but it's gonna be in a while, I'm pretty sure it's on the main path anyway, it should be hard to find from my memory. Dang, I only remember those balls being there of spikiness being there in a spiky manner. Almost feeling like a Mario Kart level, like the Swamp uh, Ruins, I believe it is, in Mario Kart 8. Almost feels like a Mario Kart Wii level, but it's not. Getting Mackinel confused, saying a lot of K's when they're not K's in the words. And that's weird rainbow ring over there that we'll probably get to in a minute after thing. Okay, I forgot that was a quick time. Alright, then there's the rainbow ring, I think it's under here where the item is. Getting close enough to the end, no real worry about getting checkpoints. Whoa, I gotta fail right here because the head suddenly appeared. Is there a checkpoint close enough? Okay. I didn't want to restart the mission and we're not having to unless I'm doing bad on time with these guys suddenly falling and pushing me out of the way. I'll slow down. And there we go with our item. And it should be a straight shot to the goal as long as things don't mess up. But nope. Wasn't really too bad aside from that one small inconsistency of inconvenience. We have another moon medal. And here we are with secret document 30 with the whole bunny thing again. Bun it from Xenoblade. Next one, we're gonna be here in Adabat for a while. This one is don't break anything along the way. This one's a weirder one to get because we had to fight this egg arrow chaser. Well, not exactly fight it because I'm pretty sure if you try to attack it, it'll knock into things, so let's just forego hitting it, and I'm pretty sure the item's coming up, let's just be careful and not mess things up, okay, eh. at least uh, getting hit isn't a bad thing, there we go, let's get a quick attack, no, quick step at the right time, I think it should be fine from here, I mean there are a few more things to break because it's as if we're going through the daytime act and wasting all that time with that, there's no enemy right there that would lead to an item because it was only that one item, being a little risque with me doing my drifts like this, but oh well. First we gotta take the much longer path. Uh, I was thinking about boosting there for a second and it didn't let me, so I guess it was kind of a good thing for the game to tell me that I shouldn't be doing that. Are you sure about that? Is what the game says to me. It's good to break the blade of spinners here so you can actually get through much easier as long as you time things in a good way, bam, and slide right in. We're just about there. Well, let's not be too hasty here, even though it's nothing to break, so let's go straight for the gold. Let's get right into the gold ring that's smaller, even though it was probably forming all the way, so it would be a little bit bigger. Such inconsistency of the stuff, I don't know why I'm saying that word so much. Here's document 15. Coming up in this cave of crystalness is a gatherings mission with 150, and I don't think there are any items yet in here because it's like... It would be listed as Rings 3, and I don't have anything that says Rings 3 on my list, and I do remember that there is nothing here, but this is a moderately beautiful level, I guess, if you don't really get positioned in such a way to get all the rings correctly. I could be boosting like this, even though it kind of made things weird, and maybe kind of stopping my tracks in this way, and those things exploding at a certain point in your life would be weird. Alright. <laughs> Things are just overall weird. Let's uh, stomp you so I can do this, even though I thought it was going to land right on the booster. Just speed things up a little bit. I have actually timed out on this mission before because I was trying to get it done in a better way, even though I wasn't being too great about it. But there we go. That's all we need to do to finish this thing off. There's our moon medal. Let's move along. Leaving a time break supernova-ish thing right there. Here it comes, a nighttime battle royale. Let's take on all corners and comers. All comers and all corners, I guess that's a better thing to say. Let's just take a box because boxes are nice to take. Alright, we got some deep nightmares. No unleashed force right now, so let's just uh, do some normal attacks. It's always hard to tell when you're gonna do like the weird punch thing like I'm doing right here in the previous time, or when it's going to transition into the Earth Shaker. Keep wanting to do the unleashed version of it. I mean, it's always the same combos, but I was thinking it would be the unleashed version of the Earthshaker thing for some reason. I don't know why. Let's wait for you guys to stop being that way. I huh, thought I would take you both out at once. To add a T at the end, like my father does. Do it once or twice or three times. Good. I don't know. 
guess it's just a southern dialect kind of deal, even though my dad's not fully southern. He was born in Indiana, but spent a lot of his life in Florida. Like me, I was born in Florida, but spent a lot of my life in Indiana, and maybe moving back next year if things happen. I don't know. Want to get things done before I do, though. It's going to have to depend on how things go. Uh, yeah, I do want to grab a boss because I don't want to be too close range with that Lightning Master. Or is it a Spawn Master? No, it's not Lightning Master. Don't have to worry about more of these guys spawning even though I could just grind on them. There is an item for me to get, but it's not like it's hard to see. I thought I could see it from right here immediately. It's actually to the right side. We just have to put out the fire over that way. <laughs> Dang, we're still in the first part of this. But I'm pretty sure you were the last guy we had to take down. Yeah, be very productive with this thing. And here's something that we've never been able to do until now, and this is pretty much the only mission where it can happen. You can toss the water at the Lightning Masters on the way. Tossing the Lightning Master at the water didn't let it happen. Yeah, you can let them electrocute themselves. That's a fun thing. Well, I haven't even taken any damage. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have. I've taken a little bit, but I grabbed a ring that was more than substantial enough to bring me back to the health I needed. Uh, don't want to be too hasty with your hasty nature. Rash, Hasty, they both mean the same thing, but they're different natures, like how Timid and Bashful. I mean, they're a little bit different, but it's that much of a difference makes it the difference between being a neutral nature and one that increases speed and lowers attack. Alright, so get out of the way of this fire and the water that we can fall down into with you guys. You know what? I will go into this right here because I think a big mother would appear after you guys. Just uh, take you guys down because I am pretty much full on leash mode. And okay, he was spawned kind of fast. Oh well, I'll just uh, do the same right there. <laughs> I'm like doing the same combo all the way through. So I don't know why I was being like that. Easy enemies, I like easy enemies. I don't know why being unleashed mode and using a swipe didn't fully kill the dark bat sniper. Oh well, I'm not going to question the logistics and logic of the thing. And then we got another Lightning Master, so I'm just going to do that. The Fire Master is decommissioned like this. And I watch out of the way of you, and then BAM! And that's how you take this thing down. Still being in the Unleashed mode. I want to go Super Saiyan God Super Sonic Werehog thing. But yes, a Sun Metal has a nice change of pace, even though we've been doing a lot of Werehog missions. A lot of normal levels, and not quite as many missions, even though they're all just as long. Secret Document 19 is what we have received. This last mission before we go back to more Gaigate stuff is a weird one. We're scoring without getting hit. Exclamation point, question mark. Ha ha ha. Question point. I was debating the grammarities of the stuff. Yeah, be careful not to run into too, too many things. Too, 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 too many things. I don't know why I'm That's all, folks. If, 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 if. Oh man, I thought I was actually going to die because the spikes do do a lot of damage to you. Hoo hoo. Guess the only enemy ish thing that would appear would be if you go down there, a dark bat might appear. Or maybe it wouldn't, I don't know, because it's not really necessary. This makes things a little bit easier. Okay, these guys do appear. Spikes and dark frights. Kind of rhymes, just uh, kind of a half rhyme kind of deal. Take you guys down so it's not too much of a problem. At least it's uh, not a don't break anything mission. Dang, I'm teetering on the edge of death right here. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh, if I'm worrying about things too much, I actually do take all this damage that I'm told not to take. Yeah, if I stub my toe on anything, I'd be dead. You know, that kind of thing is pretty painful in and of itself. Kind of weird right here because you want to destroy all the things out of the way to make your path easier, even though you should just be able to jump right through the fire, except, well, not jump right through it, jump around it because you just kind of do a thing like that. But you can't do that little ditty because you have to make it in such a way like this. I want to take you out with water. Fall down into the waterfalls. It's so beautiful. You just want to revel in the enjoyment. And hopefully it's not going to catch up to me because those things are fast little fellers. Fast and frail. Let's take you down. And it's weird how the goal rings like that. Maybe because there is an item for us to collect right there. <laughs> it would really stink if I was just on the platforms like, oh man, I am panicking. I don't want to jump and grab the item because I may be risking myself dying out of not being able to use a double jump. But anyway, we've got it all figured out. No points are needed, but what is needed for completion is the blue paintbrush thing on this illustration 43. And now we go into the Spagonia Guy Gate with 100 sun medals and 69 medals, and both of these things are opened up. Alright, that's convenient. Let's go to the right one first. Pretty sure these ones are really tough. Actually, this one might be pretty easy, and then the next one tough. Either or, this one can be difficult, and this one easy. I mean, it's not like 
it's too difficult to do with these things. Alright, this one's still easy. Just like we've seen this one before, but we haven't. Okay, uh, I was trying to confuse myself because this is one where we need spikes to toss at the walls to explode them. Yeah, because remember, like, there was one with the spike that appeared, and there was also one aptos where there were, like, no enemies. You know, the spikes are the only enemy things that could potentially appear. Sorry for my partial birth that has occurred. I'm just gonna wait, lie and wait right here, and be like normal Sonic forever, forever changing into the dark spine Sonic kind of thing. Like the thing that was really explained back in Sonic X. And I might rewatch for that sometime. That's for movie 30. We got the spike so we can utilize it in rich ways of greatness. <laughs> See, I'm a wordsmith with my rhymes. Right. Please don't explode on me. I'll explode on that wall. Or grab this item. It's secret movie 24. I love that number, as you guys know. Maybe you don't know. Well, episode 24. I'm pretty sure we're past that by now because it's been going on for quite a while. There we go. We had to enable that thing for us to get on here. It's a Oreo book sealed tome. Dark but not secret. See, I'm reason my jokes. So reusing full that I am not paying attention to the depth perception. You know what I'm saying. And secret soundtrack 25 looking very sharp with all the edges. It's so edgy. We have collected everything. Whoa. Then on the left side, let's lean liberal or something. Chip is looking all funny like with his green wings of greenery. Green greens, herb gains. Let's toss the spikes. Kind of like it's just a weird little stuffy looking thing. Let's see what's all going on. Okay, please like that. I want to jump up here first and see what exactly you are to be used for. I know exactly what you are to be used for. You are to be used for explosions, of course. <laughs> just keep reappearing and playing the sounds everywhere. I'm a big hedgehog that doesn't need no swing bars. Oh no, you're coming down my way. But if I go to normal side, it's gonna be like I don't even exist. I only mess around with the nighttime things. Sorry, <laughs> I was wondering where the things were here. Refresh myself so I can light dash even more. And then just wait for the camera to turn. Yeah, I can do a thing where I light dash in a cool way and I've been cool about things. <laughs> oh, yeah, secret movie 22. These platforms appear. Let's grab. Get to ride onto you. If I can actually grab you, there we go. So, hold me to make sure things are safe. Let's just jump off while it's still in the process of doing your thing. Process of elimination of the walls that need to be exploded. Secret movie 26 completes everything here. And that door kind of looks like it has a Skyrim logo. Oh, draw my algors. Into Mazuri. I was being silent there for a couple seconds, but I'm gonna start talking now and keep all my blah, 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 in. Uh, that was a little bit of not to myself right now. We just my headphones, I'm wearing my LP hat to hopefully have a little bit better luck. Things weren't really being too bad. Alright, so right here I can straight up explode, kind of looking like well, we've already seen before, of course. Okay, there's something there, except there is something right there. Oh man, oh man, what if I miss this item? It's like, where is the item? I can't find an item in a die gate place. It's so difficult to comb all the quarters for items. And okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's something that we're going to pretend didn't happen. So let's just restart things. I don't need to reclick the other thing unless I do need to, which I'll think so. This is like a secret auto save that happens. Let's stop here like this. Be mature about it. I don't need you there. Well, I do need you there, so I'm actually going to go to this one. You think you would need it to grab the other way ledge, but you don't need it because you can jump to there from here after getting soundtrack two like this. Okay, I was trying to be cool about the camera control stuff, but the camera control kind of got to me. All right, how is this one to be done? <laughs> Almost feels like I've done this one before. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Let's jump up here. And okay, probably should have been where I was for a second to make sure I was combing things away, but no, no combing is needed. Or maybe Sonic needs to comb his shoes because he was having a little bit of problems there. Yeah, stop it with you, I'm pretty sure this is the last item. I'm trying to think there would be a place for me to slide under as normal Sonic, but nope, nothing of that sort. Let's go to Whole Lost Guy. I don't even know if this thing's open yet, so if you're seeing this, it might be open, it might not be open, or we already done with the Lost Guy, but yes, this thing is open. I was just keeping it there if it wasn't open, be like this, but I'm open yet, Sonic, so I can see that again after seeing it way back in episode 2 or 3 or whatever it was. And it seems like it's more intuitive than it actually is. It's rather empty, it's so sad, but it is weird camera control, so let's give it that, even though camera isn't exactly a good thing to make purposefully bad. Or maybe it was made that way, because sometimes it does kind of feel like that. Let's go over this way, so I can grab this item, get my swells, get set up like this, and so I can go zooming over my way and drifting or sliding forward. Keeping you there to open the door if I want to go through here before I go into warehouse mode. Oh, am I going to be warehouse mode? It's going to make me back to normal uh, it's kind of weird there for a second. Let's boost over this way. Hey, maybe stop because of fencing. Didn't want to plummet to a deathful experience. I don't need your platforms, but I do need you now. Oh, man, that's right. I actually made it without falling messing things up. Uh, okay, I guess there is some replenishing sunlight there, so I don't need to realize things in a weird way. I do need to grab this item here anyway. Movie 23. Filling in all the gaps and all the blanks as well, because that's the thing I've been saying these past couple episodes of item collection, monotony stuff. It's fun to actually have some puzzles for completion, because if you're not really too much of completion, you just want to have some fun Sonic gameplay. Just go straight for that. And if you're a completionist like me, you can get all these missions done. And we're done here in Halasia, in both missions and Gaia items. Woo! And back to Chunan yet again, because there's still one more for us to do, and it's down to the left. It's not really down too much, though. It's kind of confusing myself with the one in Shamar where you do have to kind of drop down a little bit for whatever reason. And we're just screening the house. House is, in fact. All right, what's to be done here? Is this one one of the more difficult ones or one of the easier ones? So easy that I didn't need to use that, but I do need a crate, but I'm sure a crate just really isn't too far away from me. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm skillful in doing this. Give my secret soundtrack 28. Yeah, this one is kind of breakable. If I can uh, be careful not to fall after getting up here, I'm trying to just get this right. Double jump. Don't be afraid. Double jump, man. Just double jump and hug up against this thing like this so we can become normal Sonic. <laughs> I'm not fully sure what the required path is to get all this stuff. Maybe if it's isn't completed, which I'm not, I could have not put that way to do all the things that would not be required, but is required. I need a crate. Alright, so wait, go this way, and do this pull. Let's just transform, see how things go. Swing up, go to the left. No matter which direction, you go that way. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> or maybe this is the last time I mean to get, I don't need to worry about everything. Yeah, that is the case. Let's just set you there and make it all machine like to get that thing moving. It's not even getting on there. It's like you already got it, you don't need to worry about it, but it was set there for a second. And I'm kind of curious to see what's right here in this little corner. Almost seems like there could be an item in there, but nope, not quite needed. And then here we are again in Shamar because we need to get the items, and there's only one more place to open up here unless there was one to the right, which I don't think it was because I'm sure we got both of them at the same time earlier, either in this video or less of this. I don't really know, not sure about what things time takes. Oh man, this one, this is what I've been waiting
let's make the transformation of this slide like that. Let's duck down and press the B button to move forward, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. That's uh, screwed me over that little quick thing. <laughs> Clicking my controllers together with a collection. Uh, let's see. I was trying to see if there's a way I could strike it, but I tried it forward. There's always nothing to be done because that's barely not high enough for you. And okay, let's grab the timer here. I mean, we might as well. I'm not gonna bother trying to double jump my way over to there because I tried it before. Pardon the verb. I will either edit that out or bring the volume down if it's noisily obnoxious. And then we just set this one there, and that gets the ball rolling. We're sure the one over this way, and like this. There's something for you to kiss. I was trying to think of a good rhyme for the thing, but I couldn't. Uh, uh, e gum to gum. Uh, I'm confusing myself so much. Alright, you. Let's toss you down that way, please. Don't have died. Okay, yeah. You are in a safe position for me, so I will grab you and place you over the way that I'm heading right now. Uh, feel like I'm getting a right side headache. Maybe it's just that. The way my LP had this place, set you down right there. Maybe I could go for the item that I could have double jumped to previously before. But no, it's not exactly a requirement in life. I just want to get on the thing again, square up with my arms in dodging position, or maybe it's so cold that Sonic's blueifying it, or maybe he's got blue fire like a Mega Charizard X. Oh man, breaking my momentum and falling. I have to redo all the puzzles, but at least items. Alright, camera, swivel over, wait for this thing to stop, I'm not gonna bother playing with momentum stuff in the crazy way I should have brought a box this way, see, I knew I was messing something up. Uh, where was the box that I missed? Uh, oh yeah, I just dumped down right here, and that's where it is, so I'm not really messing too much of anything up, but I did need to keep the other box up there. I knew I was gonna mess this up somehow, and the upper box was placed in such a weird way. Derpity doo da, I just derped up. And remember when I had to do I just have to grab this one here, because this was actually the first box I had to grab and put it on the one that was initially actually supposed to be the first one. If I'm not confusing you, let's go slightly out so I can get on this conveyor belt and set you there. So yeah, I knew there was something weird going on, I had to get that other box out of the way, but I still have to set the puzzle in my breath. I grabbed this crate, this platform is in motion, all is good in the world. As long as I can get it to the other side without dropping it, I'm just gonna slowly go to scratch my head on the right side where it feels like I'm developing a headache from all the things being compressed against it and possible pent up anger and place the thing down, plus it down. No, I'm gonna restart the whole entire let's play if I mess up my speech like that. Oh man, please, I thought I'm gonna grab you like that for safety, you know, I had to turn into normal Sonic anyway. Uh, Take it very slowly. Theoretically, I probably could have done a little setup where I held on the switch for a little bit of time and maybe set him up like right there so where I could actually jump very barely to get over. But I did it correctly after a few failures to get a soundtrack 30 and finish up right here. So we've done all that, but still no mission keys as far as I know. Let's just plop into the water here at the Adabat Tempo. And okay, we've still got these couple places in Adabat to do. I'm pretty sure a couple of these or one of them is difficult. I don't know. Let's see how it is. I know that there is one. And this one, as far as I remember, Rizzly. Rizzly isn't too bad. Yes, Rizzly, ridiculously. So we got this thing out. Just say there right immediately. And turn into Hedgehog Normal Sonic of Hedgehogity and Knuckles. Ah, so this platform is moving. Let's get to moving right on it and jump up. Save my time. You know, I don't have much time at all. Let's toss you over. Hopefully, you're not going back in battle. <laughs> just making sure it wasn't going to do the horrible things in my life that I am not a fan of. And then it's going to get this one moving. I was wondering when we was going to get this one going. But I think it is right here where I need to be. Normal Sonic. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I thought that was place where I did. Absolutely. Nope, that's not true. Oh, let's see what's breaking the thing. You know, might be what I needed to do. Is that all the items? No? Got this thing. Okay, there's one on the other side. Pretty sure I just uh, toss you down. Hopefully, that's what I do. Uh, okay, there's that right there. But what's it going to get moving? Oh, it's getting that one. All right, yeah, so get those two going. Hop onto you. I was worried that I messed things up, but I actually got to figure out I could toss the box up and tow these platforms on the way I'm doing this accent in this way. Let's get you there, and I just need to wing it over to the other side. I just can't jump over this fence, even if I had a box to use. I just gotta swing it over and see if I can get through this without an edit. Because I'm trying to pedal the video link to get up to 26 as well, which I'm pretty confident that it will. And the decent links above 15 minutes. I mean, 14 is fine, but it's kind of pushing it. But anyway, that's something I say a lot. Yeah, I think movie 35, and that film is moving really fast without the big wheel thing. Then I think this is actually the final Gaia Gate door we need to open. So, this may be the final one. Well, I'm being redundant about it, and it is indeed going to be the one that I'm worried about, even though it's not really hard at all. It's a little bit complicated and far out, man. Okay, do we start off by going that one, or do we do this one? We should find out. Well, I'm gonna find out in a few more seconds. I'm falling. All right, let's ride over to the side. I wasn't really talking there for a few seconds. Where's something? going this way to a point with an item. All right, uh, let's see if I can double jump that way. I highly doubt I'll be able to. I probably could have barely made it, but not quite. Onto this one now. I'm kind of coming out important stuff. You know, it's pretty self explanatory. I'm riding the different ones that take you to a slightly different positioning on the coordinate system to get you to a different place with a new thing. And then now we play the waiting game. I could go over and boost my way with light speed dashing in. I feel like I'm just coming up, and if it happens, I'm going to keep it on screen. It's probably going to be in between right there, though, because I'm in the side right here, which is secret illustration. Secret even said the name of the illustration. Which is Oh, okay. And this thing's gonna be coming that way, so I'm gonna drop me off at a higher place so as to not pull out my secret spray things and press the screen switch. <laughs> Who can say where the platforms go? Where they eat food? Only time. Although it probably takes a lot of time to actually see something from the, the chance of a shiny Pokemon. Coming up with weird things that don't exist because that is the mind of the T2. And yay, some mission keys. And this may not be correct in my mind, but I believe these are all of the items in all of the Gaia Gate temples that I've looked through. Just kidding, there was another out of that one that I can already open up. I guess I just need to get all the mission keys and then I can womp through all the things. Yeah, that's the thing to figure out. Alright, uh, let's see. Now this one's pretty easy. Uh, let's just, uh, <laughs> sorry I'm saying uh a lot. Go into the sunlight and I go over. Pretty sure this is another box puzzly room. Let's start this thing off like this. I'm trying to think of the best way to do things because you're gonna need a box for fire protection, box for things to get you to items, one box fits all. Great box, whatever you want to be called. Rectangular prism, that is more of a square. But a square is a rectangle, and but a rectangle is not a square. That's how it works. No, not an E rectangle. That's probably a thing to look at Urban Dictionary, but I'd rather not because it sounds a little unstrange, a strange Esquire side. My voice is kind of going. I have water at the ready that I could drink. Oh, it's not exactly the same as having. Oh man, 25, almost 26 minutes in. Oh man, I was trying to do my jumps to get through, but it wasn't allowing me. Might as well
And then we go over with my great jumping skills. And we're going to find who likes me dash now. It'd be funny if it didn't happen and I wouldn't have put the name. I actually wanted to keep that, but it was so cool that I did it. And the music happened in the music. Sound effect, that's the word. Well, all this stuff is going on right here. I'm on to the other side. Let's boost over. I knew I wasn't going to get far enough, so I'm light at that thing. Now let's see if we can do some cool stuff. I probably could have done this thing without even needing to set the thing up because I could have just ate a bunch of rings of onions. Might be something I have to do because A, I could have taken off of one of those switches and then just uh, jumped with great platforming skills over to the switch that I didn't need to set up. And then other things. I can do this right here. This might be the last time. Is it less than 660? Yes, it is all the onions. Cool. Great. And next time on Sonic Unleashed, we head out to take on the rest of the missions that we have opened up after doing all these Gaia Gates. Until then, don't toast yourself. <laughs>